You know, the sad part is if, if the original two didn't get lost in there, I would have emptied the building and gone defensive long before that. But once you're missing two people, you can't, you can't, you can't leave. You can't leave. You have to do everything you can. There's so many stories that never came out that night of people that almost didn't get out of the building. I mean, our numbers could have been as high as like 15, you know, 12 to 15 people that almost did not get out at different, for different reasons. Some getting caught in telecommunication wire where they were completely entangled, like a net had dropped on them off the ceiling. That other firefighters, this one, this captain that you met over here that helped me out. Uh, he was one of them that was cutting people out of, out of the wires that night. And people were on their backs covered with this stuff. It just dropped on them like a net off the ceiling. Thing, th things like that. Um, firefighter, a, a captain, and the guy that was sitting at the watch desk in there were on the roof when the first two got, got lost. They came down a floor because they were, they were, they said that they were two floors below the roof. So they came down two floors and they started to do a search to try to find them, ran out of air while they were in there had to pop their face pieces off and did complete, you know, three, you know, four walls around. Couldn't find the door out. Left hand, right hand search. Couldn't find the door out because the doors were, were, were flush and the hardware on it was a drop ring type hardware that sat flush so you couldn't feel doorknobs. And they went around. When they went all four walls and didn't find the door, they said, we're dead. We're dead. But they kept their heads and they were taking a beating with this. The smoke was just so accurate and black and accurate at that time. Then they, and he went around again and, he, as he put it, God help me out of there because it was a draft that blew the door open just that much. And as he came by with his hand, he hit the edge of the door, found it, got out. But in the process, he ruined his lungs. He ended up, uh, he was a 47-year-old captain, I believe, at the time. Uh, and he, he, was, he was a bull, very smart and you know, ath athletic. And he, he ruined his he ruined his lungs. He went down to over 35% lung capacity. He never smoked a cigarette in his life. Uh, he had such chemical damage to his lungs. And, uh, you know, there, there, was a, there were other losses like that, too, from, from that night that, that a lot of the people don't know about. And, that's, um, and this poor guy, he's, he struggles to breathe every day.